Hello everyone, peace of the Lord, Jesus Christ with everybody. You know, uh, somebody answered me uh, regarding the flying carpet, and he said, you know, what do you explain about the Bible talking about uh, prophet talking to donkey, and he's making fun of that, and he's a Muslim. You know what, if, if there is someone else, he is saying that, I, I will understand, but a Muslim making fun of a prophet because he's talking to his donkey. Don't you know that your prophet himself, he did talk to a donkey, and not only that. I wish it was only just a conversation. If you go and read the verse in the Bible about what the donkey is saying, you know, simply, it's, uh, you know, uh, 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 the donkey himself is not talking. Simply, the prophet, he heard the voice coming from the donkey telling him not to go. It's a warning. You know, the angels are warning this guy. It's not a donkey, really. He is the one is telling him not to do that. But anyway, let us see what the conversation between your prophet and between his donkey, and let us see what kind of a prophet we are talking about. Uh, this is the book of Al Bidaya wa Nihaya, Bidaya and Nihaya, which means in English start and the end, the start and the end. The book of Ibn Kathir, the Imam of Ibn Kathir. This is a very well known uh, book, and uh, 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 this is the Islamic website. I made, I made the. Uh, I made the, the website clear for everybody so you can you can uh, copy it you can uh, pause this speak you know the video and you can copy so you can open the book right away to the exact page okay uh, uh, so any, anyone who say this is not true it's not exist this is the page in the front of you as you see it you know which means the address I'm showing you the address okay you can copy it as it is and you can go to the web page right away you know that's in Google we cannot post a website uh, otherwise I wish I can post it there anyway so this is Arab uh, uh, Arabic dot Islamic web dot com this is a huge library for Islamic books all Muslims know it you don't go to the, you don't have to go to the website no uh, I can show you even the page number here we go this is even at the top of the page it says the, the page number this is page this is the book of Al Bidaya and Al Nihaya volume number six page number 152 and you can see even the page uh, 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 number in the bottom of the page the book of al-bidaya and nihaya volume number six page number 51 you can go and start from page number 150 because the hadith starts from there let us go back to hadith uh, to page number 150 okay this is the hadith in here you see, it says hadith uh, 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 al akhar. Now, the hadith in here, oh sorry, I went to the page after. Let me go back. Okay. Uh, okay, this is the hadith we want. It's called hadith al himar. The hadith of himar, or the story about the himar, the donkey. Now, the hadith saying the following. Let us read. Uh, you know the hadith etc 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 from 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 let us go and see what the hadith is saying the prophet he used to have he he won from the Jewish when he attacked the Jewish he won four male donkeys four donkeys and uh, 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 ten ounces of gold and silver and a black donkey you see this is the hadith talking about the prophet attacking the Jewish stealing their money and taking four donkeys and some gold and silver and the top of that uh, a black donkey now let us see what 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 this black donkey is about and black donkey and he is really kind of like uh, with muscles mukattal then the prophet he did talk to the donkey الحمار. So the donkey, the, uh, the prophet talked to the donkey, and the donkey did talk to the prophet. Now let us see what the conversation is, is is about. The prophet he said to the donkey, "What is your name?" The donkey he said, "My name is Yazid, the son of Shihab, the God Allah. أخرج الله من نسل جدي ستين حمارا. The God Allah he made sixty donkeys like me. Man." Allah, he made 60 donkeys like him. It's like, it sounds like he's a limousine. 
but this one don't fly the other one Muhammad he used to the sky he do fly this one doesn't fly but you can tell this this donkey is special let us see what this donkey is about he said the God he made 60 donkeys like me all of them nobody did use them except prophets so those special donkeys made for prophets and he is the last donkey of his generation of his people this donkey makes sense the last donkey for the last prophet God makes 60 donkeys and those donkeys are special made for prophets and you see Muhammad is talking to this donkey and the donkey explaining Allah he created 60 donkeys like me from my family and I am the last one and you are the last prophet cool I'm exciting now I'm excited and all of them nobody did use them except prophets and nothing left from the from my nation except uh, except me and from your from the prophet except you makes sense no one left from my people as donkeys of prophet except me and nobody left from your pro from the prophet except you the last donkey for the last prophet makes sense let us continue <clears throat> and I was waiting for you I was waiting for you I was expecting you prophet to come and you know and uh, sit in the top of me man this is a huge thing happening in here uh, before you a Jewish guy he used to be my owner and he used look at this this is a Jewish guy then the Jewish always bad in the Islamic books and always I use actually the donkey in here is bad is bad I use always to make him feel down man this donkey is really bad he, he he's causing the Jewish guy to to feel down he don't like him because Allah he made him for prophets only why this Jewish is sitting at the top of him makes sense so he continues saying and this Jewish he used to not 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 you know not to feed me good what kind of about me and he used to beat my back the prophet he said you know what I'm going to call you Yafur the name of the donkey from today his name is Yafur then he said to him Ya Yafur the prophet saying to the donkey he start using the name now Ya Yafur Ya Yafur which means hey Yafur uh, then when he said Yafur the, the donkey he said yes sir Labbaik the prophet he said to him look at this question this is a disaster hey Yafur do you like females what the prophet of God do you see it guys call the prophet is asking his donkey if he like females or not so the one who is making fun of the Bible the donkey is talking in the Bible go and see what the donkey in the Bible is saying and let us compare between this conversation and this conversation and you will see that's even the donkey in there is not talking <laughs> the sound is coming from the donkey anyway a prophet of God is asking his donkey do you like females and guess what guess what surprise the donkey he said to the prophet and he's angry oops I don't like females this donkey he's a gay I never heard about a donkey he don't like females now in here we will see how high is the level the prophet the donkey was telling him about the Jewish guy not feeding him beating his back and the, the prophet right away jumped to talk about females about sex even this prophet even when he talked to donkeys he is talking about sex isn't it amazing I think this is very amazing we used to it we knew what Muhammad is about even when he talked to his donkey he is talking about sex and the donkey he is sound better than his prophet he don't he don't want to talk about sex the prophet asking him do you like females he said no and again this is the book of al Bidaya wa Nihaya as you see the book of Ibn Kathir and this is the page number 151 volume number 6 the book of Bidaya and Nihaya and you can go this is this is the page address you can go there and you can uh, 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 open it and you can read by yourself or you can go to Google translation and you translate 
uh, I hope people in here they are enjoying this uh, uh, story I think it's uh, deserve to be uh, told so this is my answer for the guy he is making fun of the donkey story in the Bible look at your prophet what he is doing before you talk about others and I hope the donkey who don't like females he will change one day and he will decide not to be a gay thank you